essentially there are two principal ways God channels his blessings to the saints listen please we have a series on that coming but I want you to listen number one the works of your hands the first way that God channels resources to come to you is through the works of your hands whatever it is you are doing preaching singing business your job number two relationships these are the two principal channels by which God communicates his resources to the saints let me repeat the works of your hands number two relationships when God wants to accelerate your becoming he sends both he empowers the works of your hands and then connects you with strategic relationships there are many people who have great ideas that they should not even be crying for rent but the relationships that will help them remember John chapter 5 I have no man when the waters is there to put me there I'm praying for you one more time if you have the faith to receive the relationship that must be introduced to your life before the end of February, in fact, before the miracle service, I pray for you this week, may you encounter those helpers. This week, may you encounter those helpers. Can I tell you, and I say this with every sense of humility. There is nothing I have cried about in my life that God did not raise a man to hear me. I pray for you. The days of crying alone, without help, without help us, those days come to an end now. Now listen. In my life as a man of God, I have seen attacks. In my life as a man of God, I have seen attacks from demons, attacks from hell. I have seen demons. I know the extent of Satan's hatred for me on account of the souls that are saved. I have found my safety and my immunity in the world. There is nothing Satan can do about what God is doing. I want to pray for you because many of you, when you go through attacks, it brings you down. The mysteries of hiding behind the cross, hiding behind the name that immunes you. Some of you, your companies have refused to rise today because of someone, something, something someone said, something someone did. When the words of men keep you down, you don't know how to be immune. God stands by men like a mighty, terrible one. When God places his hand behind you, woe betides the resistance that is before you. Therefore, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, every attack on your life, attack on your ministry, attack on your health, attack on your job, this night, this moment, I release you to safety. 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 Every power that has vowed that you will not see the end of February, that you will not enter March, either killing people in your life, deteriorating your health, I call upon the God of my covenant. Anybody who will not give you rest, May my God clear them out of the way. Every evil mark on you. Bringing disfavor. Making people hate you. Listen. Hear me. There are people who have this mark of disfavor. The moment they see them, they just say, I don't like you. What did you do? Just like that. If there's anyone carrying that mark now, my God, I just saw fire. I decree and declare, may that mark be wiped off your face, be wiped off your destiny, 
be wiped off your face, be wiped off your destiny. Be wiped off your face, be wiped off your destiny. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, oh, oh. Spirit of wisdom. Listen, you are about to receive a grace now that I've not prayed for for a long time. It's called the spirit of might. Listen, hear me. You see this work that we do? If you don't have the spirit of might, you will collapse one day and die on the stage. Believe me when I tell you, and I'm not exaggerating, from yesterday into today till now, I have not slept. Now it's good to rest, but sometimes a duty calls. We had a broadcast to our Canada family, and when we were done, by the time I came, I was on a call that lasted over I don't know how many hours. And by the time that was done, it was morning, had to leave for Lagos, went to preach, did everything, returned back. Now I'm here. And it's not like I'm going home just to go and jump on the bed. There is something called the spirit of might. There are many of us, 25, 35, you are already as if you are 90 years. If men like our father in the Lord can still be going around nation to nation, you see that now. Our father in the Lord, Daddy Onubogu, 85 years, this man is still moving around. When I travel to the east and he's around, at his age, he comes to join those to receive me. I've rebuked the ministers many times and said, don't allow this man. This man is my grandfather. Don't allow the, where I come from. You don't keep an elder for a small boy like this to come and receive him. But he perceives it as honor. And this man will stand. He's not holding a stick. He's not bent over. Come on now. There is a grace that comes on men. I'm praying for you. The spirit of might that empowers you for the work. Receive it now. Receive it now. You will not collapse in service. You will not die while serving. Hallelujah. The last prayer for you and then we are done for tonight. I decided particularly to close early this night for a reason. I want to pray for you. The grace to know what God is doing. Listen, listen, listen. One of the greatest advantage in my life is the blessing of the seeing eye. When you are taken unawares by life, you don't know what God is doing. You don't know what tomorrow will be like. Many of us just stumble blindly into things. You will see opportunities and leave it without knowing it is there. I want to pray for you. Whatever has covered your eyes, that you are not seeing what God is doing in your life. You are not seeing what God is doing in Nigeria. You are not seeing what God is doing in your ministry. I pray for you now. May your eyes be open. Spiritually, may your eyes be open. Financially, may your eyes be open to opportunities. Listen, when you have the miracle of open eyes, make reference to my teaching the seeing eyes. There are things you should cry about that you will be laughing because it is God making a testimony for you. If you do not understand how God works, you will be binding and casting something good that is coming to you because you just do not know it is God walking. I'm praying for you again. Whatever needs to come as a blessing to your life, I bring it speedily to you. Yeah. Koinonia, hear me. And I'm speaking to our global family. I cried to God this year and I said, Father, 
preserve my people for me. We are not ready for obituaries this year. Let me pray for you again. I'm praying for you. If there is any covenant that connects you to the grave, using sicknesses, using accidents, using plane crashes, using kidnaps, I decree and declare, be released now. Be released now. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is giving me one instruction. Please stretch your hands towards me. The Lord is saying I should speak over your hands. Your hand is a symbol of your productivity. Every good thing is received with the hands, not the feet. When I give you something, you receive it with your hand. No matter how heavy it is, you will try. Even if someone assists you still with the hand, I pray for you. As God has instructed that you stretch it towards me. If there is anything on your hand that is a cost to your blessings, that does not alaya parakatos ke de parakati balatos yata krate ka paratos kates brente ke pereketos kalta brakata ligata shabraka parite peretos kotos e preta da bakata parakatos kata pregata in the name of Jesus every chain holding your hand so that you cannot receive the reward God has for you I break that chain now. I break kote balata. I break that chain now. Every blessing my God has released, may it enter your hand. 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 It enter your hand. And that of your children. And that of your spouse. And that of your family members. In the name of Jesus. The last prayer that I want to pray over you again. I keep hearing in my spirit. Just allow me honor God. 14th is Valentine. I want to use this opportunity. And pray against the spirit destroying families. If it's not your business don't receive. But if you care please receive. For yourself. There are spirits that are dedicated towards destroying families, making sure that all ladies that are married return back to their parents' house, making sure that men who are doing well, when they get married, go down, making sure people make mistakes in marriage, making sure that families don't receive children. Valentine is not just the time of eating and whatever it is. Since the world has decided to celebrate it, let me speak a grace on you. Everything that concerns your family life, I'm praying for you. This week, may God visit you in a strange way. 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 Visit your family. Visit your spouse. Visit your children. In the name of Jesus. For families that have been quarreling, living at loggerheads, may this week be the week of reconciliation. In the name of Jesus. And I speak as a man of God over you. Let this be the year of strange miracle marriages. Strange miracle marriages. I say it again, strange miracle marriages. Every power that has vowed that you will not enjoy that blessing, let that power be cursed now forever. In the name of Jesus. Anybody who is around your life, wasting your time and wasting your life, lying to you and deceiving you, this week, may God expose them. I'm not just saying with respect to love, oh. with respect to anything, not just love. Some of you are shouting amen just because you think I'm still talking about love. I finished the issue of love. Anybody in your life who is deceiving you and wants to be a Judas, I don't know why I'm praying this prayer. I say it again this week. May the God of my covenant expose them. Amen. 